Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India it becomes very very important uh, the third factor if you remember in the leadership process when we have discussed i have talked about leader followers and situation so therefore the situation and the environment that plays a very very important role so here we will talk about the situation right uh, and um, a beautiful uh, picture uh, through picture it has been depicted that is the uh, when you are on the land uh, you are looking for the boat and uh, when you are in the boat you are looking for the land right so therefore in that case it is the situation versus personality task organization formal aspects informal aspects environment adaptive leadership research paper case study and book recommendations references as usual so according to the merriam webster dictionary situation is relative position or the combination of circumstances at a certain moment na so this is very important right mm, so it's a very relative position as we have seen in the previous slide uh, that uh, you are at the boat uh, in the boat then you want to land when you are in the land you want the boat so therefore it is it is a situation right and uh, interestingly very right word has been used relative position right so therefore in that case uh, situation and relative position right are the circumstances at a certain moment that will decide uh, about uh, uh, how the situation is all the circumstances and things that are happening in a, in a particular uh, time and in a particular place right and, and and time and in a particular place then definitely in that case uh, it, it becomes about that particular situation that is under what situation are you working Sociologist William I. Thomas and the uh, the Florian Zanesky are credited with laying the theory and research groundwork for the concept that is known as the definition of the situation is there, and therefore in that case uh, it is the uh, uh, it depends on the right that is the what type of these uh, uh, the theory and research groundwork uh, that is uh, is created right so for the purpose of defining the situation. so in the book titled uh, the polish peasant in europe and the america william and florian wrote that a person has to take social meanings into account now 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 here you see that is the whenever we talk about a particular topic or concept actually so then in that concept there are the different factors or different dimensions which affect uh, that particular uh, definition concept and uh, topic so here we have to take like according to this book title social meanings into account and i think this is also very much applicable in the context of india and interpret his or her experience not exclusively in terms of his or her own needs and the wishes but also in terms of the traditions so uh, uh, this uh, in 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 india also you will find and especially you will find that is the uh, indian ladies right so they they will not uh, take a decision just what uh, uh, they want to take they will follow the traditions customs beliefs right and the aspirations of his or her social milieu and and that is true so in in situation na in situation whenever we are talking about the gender based leadership if we talk about so why many times we find that is the uh, especially in india so lead, ladies are the better uh, manager and leader as compared to male and the re reason is of this uh, uh, in in the context when we make the study of the social meanings so uh, uh, in india this society 
the society's backbone is the uh, the ladies of the house, hmm? whether it is the mother or wife or daughter or sister, right? Whatever we talk about, so role we talk about. Then in that case, it is the social meanings because they carry the traditions, customs, beliefs, and in, to run an organization like uh, like they carry for the family. So, any decisions related to the uh, traditions of the family, customs of the family, beliefs in the family, right? And uh, de uh, according to the, their social uh, level. So, then in that case, they refer to the uh, shared beliefs. It is not like this, uh, uh, many times you will find, if the male is the head of the family, uh, uh, he, he may like to take the decision on the basis of his own analysis. But if uh, the lady is the head of the family, then she will uh, consultative type, participative style of the leadership that will work in the house. So, that is a shared beliefs are there and cultural practices right? and norms that become common sense to native the members of a society. Or here I would like to the example which I was checking, uh, then I will say become the common sense to, na to uh, native members of a family. An organization is also a family and these social dimensions no? that is also becoming very, very important nowadays to the organizations to follow and becoming the uh, ethical and the moral emotions take care of the moral emotions. And in the, uh, uh, here when we then then it will be c c having the complete uh, uh, the it will complete the social meanings hmm? so therefore to learn an uh, organization the social meanings uh, moral uh, 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 these um, um, emotions right so th these are becoming very very important so in this book uh, um, that is the uh, polish peasant in europe and Amer america william and florian wrote that a person has to take the social meanings into account and that is also very much uh, applicable in the case of the uh, leadership in India. Situation versus personality, the studies of leadership effectiveness, the situation can and does changes very dramatically overnight within seconds, what overnight means that is just an example, but within seconds the situation changes like I will like to mention about uh, um, that is the personality of Rama. So, Lord Rama the day before he was asked uh, to take the uh, to become the king uh, of the Ayodhya right and, and uh, therefore, uh, in that uh, he was told by father that tomorrow morning you will become the king. But tomorrow morning when uh, he, he visits to his father, uh, then the father says that is no, you have to, uh, have to go to the forest uh, and uh, uh, that is the, you will not be the king, right. And here, like it is just like I would like to take that is the uh, one executive has called one day before uh, uh, and told that is uh, tomorrow you will become the CEO. You take the charge of CEO tomorrow morning and when he goes to the uh, next day to the uh, office of the uh, chairman and the, uh, the chairman says, no, your services are terminated. Now, how the person will react to this situation and therefore, here uh, that is a react and response that shows the personality of an individual whether the person reacts to the situation or he responds to the situation. Like in the case of Lord Rama from where we learn that is the we have to respond to the given situation. So, if this is the um, uh, 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 order of the head of the family right or uh, in that case it was uh, it was uh, enough for the Rama to have the to know that is it is a wish of the father. But here, if it is the order of the family, then in that case also the personality will respond. The personality like uh, Rama, they will respond. Such personalities, uh, they will not uh, react to the situation. That is, yesterday you were told to be the CEO, and today you are saying that is the your services no more are required, right? So if this if this is the situation, hmm? 
So, it is that is a personality situation and the personality that is a uh, I think uh, uh, it, it, it is a very good example uh, how situation changes then the how a personality uh, responds to the situation and does not react to a situation by an effective leader of a different jobs may change considerably because the situations facing leaders of such groups may be so variable it becomes quite obvious that the studies of the leader characteristics have yielded inconsistent results when looking at leadership effectiveness across jobs or situation so we cannot generalize we cannot generalize and therefore there will be the different characteristics will be uh, uh, emerge I will say the different um, personalities, every individual is having the different personality and therefore, as a different personality, um, it, 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 it will be the in a given situation, a different uh, response will be there. Thus, the importance of the situation in the leadership process should not be overlooked, right. So, uh, uh, the personality uh, and uh, uh, the situation right that that, uh, that has to be taken into consideration whenever we are talking about the leadership. So, Lord Rama has become the leader because uh, in the with, with the changing in the situations he has respond to the situations he has put an example. So, similarly in the uh, family or in the organization as the situation changes. Hmm? So, then if effective leadership Hmm? it will be across the Java situations. So, it, it will not be the same, it will be inconsistent. So, there are inconsistent results are there whenever we are talking about that particular situation. Some leadership researchers emphasize the importance of the situation in the process in contrast to the great main theory of leadership. These researchers maintained that the situation not someone's traits or abilities. So, therefore, it, e it is the situation decides and not the individual who plays the most important role in determining who emerges as a leader. As support by the situational viewpoint, these researchers noted that great leaders typically emerge during economic crisis, social uh, upheavals or revolutions. Great leaders were generally not associated with the periods of the relative calm or quiet is there. So, identification of the leader comes in the tough time only. We have talked about the crisis management. So, whenever we have talked about that uh, leadership in the crisis management, you will find that is about the situation and in the given situation how the leadership has been developed. Here we will talk about the uh, theories in support of the situational factors uh, in role theory a leader's behavior was said to depend on a leader's perception of several critical aspects of the situation, rules and regulations governing the job, role expectation of subordinates, peers and superiors, the nature of the task and feedback about subordinates performance is there. So many factors. So, first and foremost is about the what is the uh, rule of the land, right. So, as per the law of the land that it will be decided and uh, then uh, the people surrounding to that particular person, the subordinates, peers, superiors, right that is also they, that is, they are also important and the nature of the task and feedback. So, therefore, all these play the role hmm? in multiple influence model Hunt and Osborne distinguish between the micro variables such as task characteristics. Right. And macro variables such as the external environment is there. Here also we will find that in the, uh, the role theory also the task that has been is playing the important role is there right. And the external environmental factors that also plays an important role. And so, Hunt and Osborne believed macro variables that have a the pervasive influence on the ways leaders act right. So, therefore, accordingly it will be decided. And this uh, situation versus personality, we have talked about the leader, follower, and the, this task or situation hmm, or the organization and the environment, right. So, therefore, this is creating the situation. 
the task level, the organizational level and the environmental level. Hmm? So, the each of which provides a different perspective to examine the leadership processes there. So, according to task one has to take the decision, according to the culture of the organization one has to take the decision and according to the existing environment one has to take the decision. Now, we will take one by one task. The most fundamental level of the situation involves the tasks to be performed by individuals or teams within the organization. And there are several ways in which the task very are particularly relevant to the leadership such as task autonomy is the degree to which a job provides an individual with some control over what he does or how he does it. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case the one has the control that is how this task is to be performed and therefore, then there, there will be the task autonomy. Similarly, there will be the task feedback and task feedback refers to the degree to which a person accomplishing a task receives information about performance from the performing the task itself. So, therefore, this degree to which uh, 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 the uh, 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 task receives information, right. So, uh, here, so whatever feedback will be there according to the task will change, right. And because the performance from performing the task itself, that will vary the this particular activity. So, like the task autonomy and task feedback, there will be the task structure also. A degree to check of which extent any task is structured or unstructured, right. So, normally if the, there is a structured task, there will not be much to do by the leader, but when there is an unstructured task, then there is a lot of things are to be done by the leader. The more plan process rules of the governing, the more structured task is there and therefore, in that case, if that particular activity which the leader has to perform a task one has to perform. If it is a very planned process, then definitely in that case there will be the more task structure will be followed. Task interdependence the concerns the degree to which the task require coordination and synchronization for work groups or teams to accomplish desired goals. So, therefore, in that case it is the degree to which uh, the person has to perform a synchronized for the group or teams to accomplish the desired goals. Task interdependence differs from the autonomy in that workers or the team members may be able to accomplish their task in an autonomous fashion. So, but the products of their efforts must be coordinated for the group or the team to succeed is there. Two types of the problems associated with the task is there. One is the technical problems, other is the adaptive problems are there. Whenever we are talking about the technical problems, so these problems are which can be solved without changing the nature of the social system itself within the occur. Hmm? So, therefore, th this is a very, very important issue because as I have talked about that is it is the society norms and therefore, in the society norms, uh, uh, it is a without changing the nature of the social system you have to work. So, it will be a big technical problem. What is the work? Applying current know-how, but if there is any change then definitely in that case it will be becoming the difficult that is the how you are going to apply the future technology hmm? and third one is who does the work? There is the authorities are there. So, here technical problems of the nature of social system, the know-how system and, and the who is doing the work that is the authorities. So, we have to handle this type of issues. While in the adoptive problems are what are these problems? Those problems which can only be solved by changing the system itself otherwise it would not be changed and therefore, in that case this will be the adoptive problem will be there. What is the work? Discovering new ways. And uh, who does the work? The people facing the challenge, they, they are doing the work is there. As far as the organization is concerned, so um, Kaplan and Norton 1996 have described a set of operating assumptions underlying the information age and they contrasted them with their predecessors in the individual age. And they describe changes in the following ways companies operate there, they have affected its leadership. Cross functions, Organization must operate with integrated business process that cut across the traditional business functions are there. Link to customers and suppliers, IT enable organizations to integrate supply production and delivery process resulting in the improvement in cost, quantity and response time is there. So, therefore, uh, this is a, these are the uh, major factors on which the organization is dependent and therefore, it will be having the, uh, the certain attention will be required. Del, uh, in the in improve in the improvement for, uh, in cost quantity and response time 
Another one is the customer segmentation. Company must learn to offer customized products and services to diverse the customer segmentation is there. And therefore, these are these uh, the following changes and that will making the leadership the more challenging. The, uh, the other dimensions are the global scale. No, uh, earlier what was happening it was the local level only but now it is at the global level. So, companies today com they to compete against the best companies throughout the world. And when you are competing with the best companies throughout the world, it becomes very important that is you are having the global scale. Pro product life are shrinking, companies must anticipate customers future needs. So, therefore, in that case if you have come across with the innovation for the today, hardly it will work for 3 months, after 3 months you have to come out with the new innovation. So, therefore, it is a continuous cycle, right, but then it requires time. So, that therefore, in that case you have to start much early you have to start in a big, big con, uh, uh, concept. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever there is a change in 3 months immediately you are coming out with the new product. So, innovative new products and services rapidly deploy new technologies into the operations are there, but new products will be developed with the help of new technologies. So, therefore, your life cycle of the technology is 3 months only and then the, if it is a heavy investment is there, how will you change your investment in the next uh, every? 3 months. So, knowledge workers are there, all employees must contribute value by what they know and by and by the information they provide. So, therefore, these knowledge workers that those uh, who, who are knowing that is the what value they can add to the organization they are adding and, uh, and whatever the information is required and they are able to provide that particular information. The formal aspects of the uh, these discipline of management organizational behavior you can have a profound impact on leadership is there, formal approach is there. So, level of authority, it is the hierarchical level in the organization, organization structure is concerned and organization's activities are coordinated and controlled. It represents another level of the situation in which leaders and followers must operate and it may vary in the complexity and degree of formalization is there. How this formalization will be done is a degree of standardization. Uh, which usually uh, uh, varies with the size and centralization that is the diffusion of decision making is there. The former uh, aspects are on the basis of the structure varying in complexity, horizontal complexity and vertical complexity. So, horizontal complexity is the number of specialization at any particular organization level in an organization and the vertical complexity is the number of hierarchical levels appearing on an organizational chart. Similarly, the special complexity is the geographical dispersion of an organization's members and therefore, in that case if the members are at the different places in the geographical location then that will be the third dimensions will be there. So, the uh, here it is become very important whether we are going to work into the horizontal complexity that is the flat structure or into the tall structure that is a vertical complexity or there will be the informal structures and that is a special complexity will be there. If informal aspects are there, then definitely although most people probably think of culture in terms of very large social groups, the concern also applies to an organization is there. So, concerned members subjective reactions to the organization, organization culture that has been defined as system of shared uh, back, background. So, we have talked about the shared values and the leadership has to be performed in the shared culture, shared values, shared society. These two concepts are distinct such that organization climate is a part, partly a function of organizational culture. Our feelings or emotional reactions about an organization are affected by the degree to which uh, we shall the prevailing the values, beliefs and backgrounds of the organizational members are there. And therefore, in that case those who are the people surrounding to in uh, working into that organization and they, they have to make the emotional reactions will be there as I mentioned earlier also. So, therefore, they, there will be the reaction, but what is required the respond. The third dimension the task, organization and environment. Uh, so, Ronald Hafiz argues that the leaders are not only are facing crisis than ever before, but that if new mode of leadership is needed because we are in a permanent state of crisis and therefore, that, uh, um, that um, leadership in crisis that is to be studied. Change has become so fast and so per pervasive that it impacts virtually every organization everywhere and everyone in them. So, therefore, uh, here 
so the, the whatever the changes become this so fast uh, uh, then then it uh, naturally it impacts the uh, virtually uh, organization uh, uh, because of the geographical locations yuka that is the volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous is there so therefore in that case uh, uh, in the yuka time uh, the the new state of affairs uh, uh, will there because the world is becoming so volatile and uncertain right so uh, how this uh, leadership that has to be flexible that has to be changed otherwise whatever the complexity will be there um, then uh, to handle that complexity it will be very difficult uh, for the leader to uh, come out with that particular situation in the constantly changing environment as we are talk about the uh, task organization and environment is there uh, two vectors added to the original diagram highlights how two contrasting and multi dimensional kinds of environment affect the leadership is there so therefore in that case uh, uh, we are talking about that is the this is these are the environment complex unfamiliar ambiguous and rapid change is there and when there is another environment in simple familiar and the clear um, gradual change is there now in both the cases the leader we are talking about the environment but environment can be of this type environment 1 or it can be environment 2 but all in this task organization and uh, environment is carrying here so therefore in that case what will be the leadership style because there are the followers right in this particular task. So, uh, the two vectors added uh, these multi dynamic kinds of environment uh, which is affecting the leadership is there and uh, not uh, implied there is a categorization of environments either simple or complex. It is used just to represent in the figure a range of possible environments. So, complex may be unfamiliar may be ambiguous may be and rapid change may be. So, political, economical, social, technological right environmental and legal so uh, this pastel so leaders have to analyze the business environment to make wise, uh, to make the wise decisions taking into account the situation right and in what is the situation the leader follow situation framework is consist of to uh, make the political economical social technological environmental and legal aspects are there uh, we, we have talked about uh, that is a social meaning, social meanings in the leadership is there. So, it is critical for leaders to have an understanding of societal culture and the associated belief, wherever the organization is working no. Uh, and when we are talking about the multinational organization, so every nation is having its own culture and practices that is to be that beliefs, characteristics and the customs of that organization that, that, that has to be uh, known by the leaders, so to avoid the conflicts and misunderstandings. Societal culture refers to those learned behaviors characterizing the total way of life of members within the given society, right. So, therefore, uh, we uh, uh, I have mentioned in the previous of this that is uh, the person learns from the society. So, leaders are developed from the society. So, therefore, in that case they are required to know the global context and respectful of the cultural differences and cultural perspectives and not only they should know, but they should be also responsible for the different culture, right and the different perspectives in the organization because the it is becoming the global village. So, naturally there will be the different approaches. So, what is required? Adoptive leadership is required. So, in the adoptive leadership is a process principle of shared responsibility for the future success of the business or services there. So, Ron Helfis and the Mark Kielinski defines adoptive leadership as a practical leadership framework that individuals in organization adopt and thrive in challenging environment is there wonderful definition is there. So, the adoptive leaders must have the four fund, uh, fundamental traits foundational traits emotional organizational character and the development is there. So, four A's of the adoptive leadership is anticipation articulation adaptation and the accountability is there. So, anticipation of the likely future needs trends and options articulation of these needs to build collective understanding, adaptation to uh, that there is a continuous learning and adjustment of the responses, this is very very important adaptation. Accountability is there when the maximum transparency of decision making process and openness to challenges and the feedback is there. So, therefore, the accountability has to be uh, you know, hold for this uh, uh, the leadership styles. So, situational changes, technical changes, technical and adaptive challenges and the adaptive challenges are there. So, leader behavior is to get on the balcony, identify the adaptive challenge, regulate the distress, maintain discipline, attention, 
give the work back to the people and the protect the leadership voices from the below. Adoptive work will be holding environment, leader, followers, interaction that is becoming very, very important. As usual, uh, we will talking about these uh, research papers, the role of the situation in leadership. Uh, this is an American psychologist uh, paper written by the uh, Victor H. Vroom and Arthur G. Jago. So, purpose of this paper is to integrate you examination of the different leadership theories to lay emphasis on role of situation in leadership by laying a taxonomy of the situational effects on the leadership is there. So, this paper is very interesting because it is talking about that is how you can achieve the organizational effectiveness by understanding the uh, situation, how leaders behave, situational influence, the consequence of the leaders behavior is there. These are the practical implications uh, 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 relevant to the both research and the practice of the leadership is there. Uh, as usual, this is the case study um, which is about the Virginia Tech shooting hero to omits of the horror and a dark day at Virginia Tech on that day and the show swing he went on a shooting rampage that killed 32 students and faculty and injured a host of others. He created a situation of terror, but in that same awful situation heroes were created. So, wonderful uh, message is there that is from the awful situations how the heroes were created. And so, therefore, describes how and the two classmates uh, uh, barricaded their classroom door at the Norris Hall, right? Uh, and the uh, days after the, uh, that, that Zach McQuick was interviewed by the Mark Lauren on NBC's Today Show. Uh, Laurel asked Zach if he could have predicted before the shooting how he would react. The young hero, whose first reaction had been fear, said, "It is not not possible for anyone. There is no way of telling what I would have done until you are put in that particular situation." Wonderful answer. So, with respect to the case discuss how the situation influences leaders and followers. Uh, do the situational leaders always have to be uh, reactive to the situation, right? Or the preventive prevention in the situation? It is very difficult to say. The book recommendation is uh, about the lessons learned in the change leadership. So, therefore, it will be uh, you will be able to understand that is the how to develop the effective solution by learning from the success and failure of others is there. Mm, and the avoid the placing your trust in the wrong people, right. Design training programs to fix problem behaviors and get leaders to lead and motivate the troops to change is there. These are the references uh, which you can uh, refer for your further studies and uh, uh, also for this particular study material and uh, this is all about uh, the whenever we are talking about the situational leadership. So, uh, here the situation in environment uh, how the people are able to uh, face and then what type of these uh, uh, leadership will work. So, ultimately the conclusion is this that is the it has to is we have to understand in the given situation a reaction is required a respond is required and if the respond is required we have to show the interest for the responses and then we have to work on that is a responsive leadership and uh, uh, make uh, and uh, avoid to make the reaction to the given situation and environment rather than respond right this is all about uh, the situation environment and the leadership is there thank you